Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShot.com and ElectronicLessons.com. We just got our uh, voice changer kits in, but since I'm waiting for some external microphones that can be hooked up in here, uh, I decided to modify it so that I could hook up my iPod to it to make some pretty funky sounds. Uh, there is an onboard microphone between the diff switch and this uh, external mic input. Problem is, is uh, when you speak into the mic, you and you have the little speaker here, you actually hear your voice more than you hear the voice changer. Now, you've got several onboard options, but what I decided to do was uh, was to hook up my, uh, my iPod and play some songs for you. So I'll give you an example right now, and then we'll mess with it. Now you guys don't know the song, likely. That might sound pretty annoying, but it's actually pretty funny if you know the song. That's uh, I Believe in You by the Tragically Hip. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'll play Layla, and I'll start playing with some of the dip switch settings. This is it no on normal. Sounds pretty normal, right? So let's change it around a bit. Pretty cool, huh? That's the onboard pitch variable resistor. <laughs> My girlfriend actually had to leave the room because it it sounds awful. I mean, it sounds awesome, but the high pitch sound she couldn't deal with it. She had to leave. So what you can actually do is is uh, hook this up. To an audio an extra and there is an audio amplifier on board featuring the LM386. Uh, but what you could do is actually hook this up, the output right here, to uh, to a bigger audio amplifier and really make this loud and crazy. And people will be like, "What the heck are you doing with that song, man? It's a great song." But uh, I mean, and what you could actually do is you could probably um, when you have the external microphones, we'll be selling with the external microphones. So you you so you'll be able to really hear yourself through this microphone. So many different options on the board, um, which I'll get to in the assembly video because this, we also have this as a kit and fully built. Uh, it will be listed on eBay through electroniclessons.com and through on uh, engineeringshock.com. When the time comes when I actually put it up for sale, when we have the external microphones, I'll put a link on this video and I'll be making an assembly video for those of you who want to put it together as a kit. But anyway, what I did was I bypassed one of the pull down resistors on the input, part of the uh, RC filter. And I took a dollar store, uh, uh, actually a uh, headphone uh, connector, cut off one end, uh, glue tied the ground to the gr board ground, the uh, input to the uh, RC filter at the input of the voice changer IC, plugged it into my iPod. So that's it in pretty much normal mode. I can vary the voltage here, or vary the volume here. Or I, I've got 9 volts at the input right now, or I can change the volume by using this little potentiometer here. So there's really a lot more to show, but I wanted to give you a demo today. Uh, I'm sure that, uh, I'm sure that you don't get the full effect here, but I hope, hopefully you can find this a little bit entertaining that I can be messing with these, uh, songs. And you can too if you're interested. We're selling it for, uh, a very good price. Or rather, we will be selling it at a very good price.
<laughs> anyway, uh, not a really great demonstration. My next video will have a, a better demonstration that talks about the robot voice option and all of the different onboard diff switch options. Anyway, that's Layla for you guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you're interested, uh, don't hesitate to ask any questions. Take care and have a great day.